Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today I'm going to be evaluating Wave accounting software uh, based on the uh, Chapter 5 of the Fit Small Business case study. Um, so we're evaluating fixed assets and long-term debt. Um, it's going to be a very short video because Wave really does very little for this, which is not uncommon um, for, for a bookkeeping program. So on February 10th, um, the business purchased a job trailer for $12,000 by borrowing $12,000 from the bank. Uh, the the uh, case study gives you the interest rate, um, the depreciation, um, amortization schedule, things like that. You don't need, we're not going to be able to do that in WAVE, so we really don't need that information. Um, so really what we want to know is can we set up the job trailer as a fixed asset? Not only can we can we debit it to a fixed asset account, but can we actually set it up so that we can view a list of all of our various fixed assets, perhaps the lives of the assets, um, assign a uh, uh, ID to the asset for tracking purposes, depreciate the asset, um, do all of those things that you would do with a fixed asset manager, not just simply record it into a fixed asset account. So let's go over here to Wave. Wave really has nothing for fixed asset managers. Um, the only thing we're going to be able to do is re record the journal entry. So before we record the journal entry, let's make sure we have the proper account set up. So in our chart of accounts, we need a equipment account. Excellent, we have an equipment account. Um, we need a long-term note payable account. We do not have that, so let's add a long-term note payable and we'll call it bank one note payable there's nothing here that's going to uh, allow us um, to create an amortization schedule anything like that so it looks like this is all we're going to be able to do okay so we have our accounts let's uh, create the transaction We'll just do it as a journal entry. Okay, so it was on February 10th. Um, our description is, uh, we'll just call it the uh, job trailer. Our debit is going to be the equipment account for $12,000. Okay, note is uh, the uh, note payable for job trailer. This is going to be our note payable from bank one of $12,000. Okay, debits equals credits. Let's go ahead and save it. Okay, there we go. And so if we look at our balance sheet, all right, so now our, look at the detail. Now our equipment account. Good. Shows the 12,000 job trailer. But notice we there's nowhere in this program that we can have a, see the list of all the equipment items that add up to our $87,000. And that's what we're really looking for. Okay. So, and then we'll check real quick, make sure our liability showing up. Sure, bank one, note payable, 12,000. Okay. Um, that's all we can do um, for this chapter is just make that journal entry. So going over to the rubric here. Um, so view a list of, okay, record the job trailer as a fixed asset. We'll give them credit for that. We're able to, you know, debit the account. Um, view a list of fixed assets, no. Assign an ID number to the asset, no. Record the note payable, um, yes. So again, that's just the journal entry. Set up the trailer to depreciate. Set up a separate depreciation for taxes, nope. 
um, viewer print a depreciation schedule, set up an amortization schedule for the note payable. So that's where you split your payments, your monthly payments into interest and principal. We're not able to do that. So we couldn't print that schedule. Were there any other fixed asset options? Nope. And can you record the sale of the fixed asset directly from the fixed asset program? No. So again, very little that WAVE can do for fixed assets, but that's not surprising. Even a lot of your good paid bookkeeping programs don't really do anything with fixed assets. Oftentimes it's a separate program or perhaps an add-in. So that's it for today. Thank you.